Hi, my name is Richard Shockley with the Bowler's Mark Company and USB Certified Gold Coach. Today we're going to show a little bit about ball surface and ball reaction. This is Dan Trisky. He's a silver level coach. He's going to be our thrower today to show you the motion of the bowling ball. Dan, you know what? We have a shiny ball here and you're going to be throwing some. What do we see from ball motion whenever we have a shiny ball usually? Typically, Coach, when we're using the shinier ball, we see the ball get down lane further. But one of the other effects of having a shinier ball is once it exits the oil pattern, it has a tendency to be a little bit stronger on the back end. Right. So you see a little bit more motion or angle. So what we're going to do here is explain a little bit about our pads, Dan. We've got different uh, surfaces and what they look like. So for as an example, we have a 1,000 Avalon pad a 500 Aberlon pad, and a 360. So the lower the number you go, the more surface or the stronger reaction you're gonna get out of the bowling ball. And depending on what surface of the lane conditions are that you're bowling on, kind of determine on what surface you want on the ball itself. So if you're on a sport shot, obviously we need to make adjustments. Right, know. right. So what we're gonna do now is Dan's gonna be throwing some shots at the same part of the lane, same speed, to show you what the differences can be in surface management. So what we're gonna do also is we're gonna surface this ball down. Correct. So what we're gonna use is- So now we're gonna to go to a thousand. Show the thousand so, how we run it down. So we're gonna take a thousand on this. And once we can take this nice shiny cover off that ball, and you're gonna see as we go that she's gonna get a little bit duller as we go and we're doing this. And this is something that again, if you have the luxury to do at tournaments or before league, especially if you know what you're bowling on, is very, very, very important to be able to make these surface adjustments. Because we don't know what the amount of volume is. We don't know a lot of times what the length of right. oil is. Right, I see you're just working that around the entire surface in any particular pattern, Dan? Well, right now we're gonna, I'm going with the track, but we gotta remember too, the rule is, is we have to do the entire bowling ball. Correct. Not just where the bowling ball itself is on the lane. All right, I think we're pretty good, Coach. Okay, so we're ready with this surface, and let's let Dan go out and throw some. Okay, so we showed a great shot with a shiny ball, Dan. You threw it, you hit your break point, you had the same speed, same rotation, flush strike. Then you resurfaced it. We went down to the next level grit, which was a thousand. Uh, what happened from that? You saw what was going on with ball motion. So now when we put the thousand and we took that shiny cover off the ball or that pouch cover off, now what ends up happening is that ball got down lane, but it reacted a little bit earlier so it was stronger going into the pocket. And a result of that was almost leaving a 4-9 because of how strong that ball was entering the pocket. Okay, Dan, so let's go to the next level down on our pad, a 500, and you put some uh, surface on it, then we're gonna really go out and see some, uh, some ball motion difference. And what's most likely gonna happen with this, Coach, when we put the 500 on this, and for the people watching, it's a very strong likelihood that this, after it's done, will not even hit the head pin at all. And if it does, it's gonna be barely, but most likely it will not hit the head pin. And you're gonna stay in the same spot, same location, same release, same rev rate, axis rotation, all the same. Same everything. I'm not gonna change anything up. We're gonna do it exactly you're a like great we did. Bowler. We're gonna do it exactly like we did the first time and the second. Great. But it's gonna be good for the people at home and watching this to see how important surface adjustments are and what they will do. Wild Dan, by just dropping down from 1,000 to 500, really showed a lot of ball motion difference. Could you see that? You know what, Coach? Uh, that ball read the lane a lot earlier 
than where we had initially started with the shiny and even a thousand. And it really, so now we ended up going Brooklyn or, you know, heavier in the cross on the left side of the head pit. Right. So now let's drop down to a 360 pad, work it over Dan, then we're going to show another shot and what's going to happen with that. And we're, when we take this down, and it's going to look uh, a lot different than it does now. As we're, when we put this 360 on there, the ball is going to react earlier on the lane, which is going to make it actually miss the head pin to the left because it's going to be a lot stronger. And like I said, it's going to read the lane a lot earlier. And you know, coach, as well as I do, how important surface adjustment is when we're bowling in tournaments and even on league play. Right, league play or in sports shots, particularly like a junior goal with the kids have to manage their surface a lot, which is a tremendous uh, changing in ball motion. And with today's equipment and today's oil patterns, it's extremely important to adjust the surface on your bowling balls more than you maybe think. Okay, Dan, so let's go out to the lane, throw another great shot, and see the effects of a 360. Let's do it. Wow, Dan, we went from a 500, you saw the ball reaction that, we took it down to a 360 pad. Big difference in what the ball did at the back end of the lane, right? Correct, yeah, I did. She, uh, she jumped pretty hard, coach. You know, whenever you're in tournament competition, for example, your three daughters bowled as a junior gold and you had to manage with the surface of different patterns. A lot of cases, they didn't know what the patterns were, so visually what you saw is where you had to change the pads for the girls. Correct. So, you know, based on what the ball speed is and how the ball is reading the lane is going to tell us what adjustments we need to make, whether it's going from a thousand to say 500 or the other way around going maybe 500 up to a thousand or even 2000. So management of your surface is very, very important. Using your pads in competition, very, very important to what you have to do to get your right ball motion. And you know what? Don't be afraid when you're at home at your home center to play with your service adjustments on your equipment. So you're gonna have a little better idea going into a tournament already what the ball motion may be with different services on them, coach. 